What's up gang? Today we're going to be talking about the additional features of the bank buttons of the Analog Rhythm MIG-2 from Electron. Here we go. Okay, so we are back with the Analog Rhythm MIG-2. Please don't forget to go down there and subscribe. Uh, today we're going to be talking about these uh, bank buttons. So you'll see that there's uh, A through H and these are all banks of patterns normally. This is how it normally functions. You pick a bank, you select a pattern, and then it plays that pattern. You'll see that up here, this says sequential, direct start, direct jump, and temporary jump. So hold down function, that's how you get to these different modes. So the next one that I'm gonna look at is sequential. Sequential just means that it will play through and then when it reaches 16 or whatever the length is of your pattern, it will go to the one you've now selected. So let's go ahead, hit function, sequential. We'll get this one rolling. So we got our three beats. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Are you following this? Direct start will be wherever you hit the thing, it will start wherever you put it. So even if the playhead is on the four and you start it there, it will start at the beginning of the next pattern, essentially starting your next pattern there, but you'll see how it goes. Cause it's actually gonna, it will always start on the one, but it you're gonna launch that pattern there. So you could have, uh, some like off timing kind of thing. It's kind of like a drop in. Okay, so let's take a look at direct start. One, two. Do you see how that's, that starts like kind of in the middle of a measure? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it's like off. That was awesome. Okay, right now this red light is lit up for direct jump. So that means that wherever the playhead is, which the playhead is that little white, the white button right there, the white light. So wherever that is, if you're on direct jump, it will uh, just go to the other pattern, but it will pick up where that white light is. So let's say we got this going on. One, two, three, four. 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 See how that goes? So what temporary jump is, is it will jump into whatever pattern you select, depending on which kind of launch mode you have here. So if it's sequential, it will wait till the, till the bar ends, jump into the one you select, and then when it's done, it will go right back to the one you were on. If you're on direct start, it will do the same thing, but it will start the pattern wherever you hit it and then jump back. So we're gonna do sequential pattern. See how it's got temporary jump blinking? That means it's gonna jump and then jump back. Temporarily. And now you'll notice that it just goes back to the regular mode. Temporary jump. Direct start. So this will start it wherever I hit the button. But it's also temporary, so it should go back, right? One, two.
So that was direct start, direct jump, temporary jump. See what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. So let's look at this bottom row, E through H. There is trig mute, accent, swing, and slide, which uh, refers to parameter slide. So uh, let's look at trig mute. So you don't have to be in record mode for this, which is cool. But let's say you wanted to just change up your hi-hats or something. We'll go to trig mute. That basically just mutes the trig. Accent, um, this is the accent amount. So whatever you turn this to is gonna be whatever the velocity gets reported to um, the synth engine. So if you look at the accent, um, it's helpful to look at um, the trig page because for each, um, each step, that you have on here, there's gonna be a velocity amount. So you may have uh, trig locks on this or something, I don't know. But normally what you would use this one is like a kick drum, right? So let's do this. We're now at 99, right? So let's just listen to our kick drum. And then we'll go into accent and we'll turn up that accent to 127 so that when that when you hit the accent it's a little bit louder so if the volume is at 127 the accent won't do anything to it Vol the the velocity needs to be somewhat lower So now you hear like the one is louder than the one that's on the uh, the odd beat there. Um, and you can do accents per instrument, per pad. So there it is with accent, there it is without. Cool. So next is swing, everybody's favorite. Let's do this. Um, we've got our beat going, we'll go to swing, pattern swing. Goes all the way up to 80. Starts at 50, goes up to 80. And this will vary by pattern. And you'll see that it's, it's talking about how it shifts the notes. And it doesn't move the lighting on here, but it just shifts the micro timing. Slide is up next. Parameter slide. So let's talk about parameter slide. So normally, whenever you do a trig lock, um, it just assigns that note to that value. Let's go ahead and do some stuff with our trusty dual VCO. Let's go ahead and make a new pattern. Okay.
Okay, so there is our pattern. Um, one cool thing that I can show you right now is uh, there are the parameter locks that you can do when there is not a note being sounded. So you can hold down function and press a step and that turns yellow. That means that you're changing the information just for that step. So check this out. without sounding a new note. So you can hear how it just, it's kind of like a square wave, it just cuts it. However, use your parameter slide and it turns it down. It's like it slides to that value. So that's it for the additional features of the bank buttons on the Analog Rhythm Make 2 from Electron. I want to say welcome to all our new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know what you would like to see. Hit me up in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Until next time, peace.